I'm here live in Reno, Nevada with two very special guests. Hey guys, Mark Castillo here. So I just got done with attending the I Am Mastery retreat event. And I've gotta say, it was such a great event. But what better way to actually wrap up this whole weekend with none other than the one, the only, dynamic duo, Ace and Rich. Hey, How are you guys doing? Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I'm in their hotel room, so I got Woo! VIP access, baby. <laughs> so I want to ask you guys a question regarding uh, not so much on the marketing strategies, but more so like mindset. Because from talking with a lot of people mm -hmm. at the event, I felt like a handful of them had a lot of mindset issues. So I thought about asking you guys a few questions that would clear up some misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. So my first question is, can you guys explain how to raise your level of vibration in terms of where you want to go and the kind of person that you want to become? Well, you know, we gathered a lot of information. We had some great speakers today and I will share a tidbit of what I took away from one of the guys that will help answer this question really well. And the thing is, where you are right now, we would call that Suckville, okay? And where you want to be is called Awesome What? Remember, Mark? Awesome Town. Awesome Town, awesome town. right? Not Awesomeville. <laughs> Everybody messes it up. <laughs> so if you're in Suckville, okay, that's your present state. You don't like it there, right? But you have to consider what you need to do and figure out and get resourceful how to get out of that situation to go to awesome town, okay? And what that requires is you've gotta work on this, okay? No matter what business you start, no matter what venture you actually pursue, it's always gonna be here. Your mindset is important and it has to be sharp and it has to be ready because all entrepreneurs consider learning and growing their mindset before they start taking care of business tactics and strategies. So, Rich, you want to take care on that? Well, when it comes to Suckville, <laughs> nobody wants to be in Suckville. No. I'm going to just use my own words and everything. Sure. I think that in your present state where you are is kind of a, you know, it's a negative place. A negative place is because you want more out of your life, but you don't know how to actually change it. And maybe you don't want to change it. Maybe you're comfortable where you're at, right? And when you're comfortable, it's hard to really try to find that place called awesome town, like what you said, right? Like the, the pinnacle of, you know, where you're, you're happy at, right? right? Most people, what they do is they want to talk about like, okay, I want my own freedom. I want to make my own decisions. I want to answer to a boss. But the reality is if they don't really realize where they are currently, it can be very difficult to really change and really see where you're going, right? So make sure that you make that decision and you say, you know, I don't want to be in this negative state in my life anymore. I want to change my circumstance, right? And you do that by finding a mentor, finding someone who's walked that path that you want to walk, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And then continue on that journey. And then you take it to the next step. You buy, you purchase, you invest into mentorship from that individual. And when you do that, guess what? For once in your life, and it's uncomfortable, you're investing in who? Yourself. And when you invest in yourself, that's more important than investing in anything else that you've ever invested in your life, including your house, including your car, yes. including all these different things, you know, PlayStation, right? All the crazy stuff that we purchased over the years, right? That doesn't matter. What matters is investing in you. And most people, unfortunately, it's just a reality, they don't invest in themselves to become a better person, right? Or a better entrepreneur to actually grow from where they're at currently to where they want to go. Absolutely. I wholeheartedly agree with that 100%. So you guys kind of touched on my next question, and it's kind of coincident, but for someone who, who might be watching, yes. for someone who is broke, 
mm-hmm. and struggling financially mm-hmm. and looking to change their financial situation. How does one create that mindset shift to create wealth and attract abundance? Well, we, like you said, we did touch on that. Um, but I'm going to take you back seven years ago where I was at. And I'm going to hope this answers your question. But I was in that exact state. I was broke minded. I thought that I knew it all. I thought that I didn't need a mentor. I thought that personal mindset and development was a bunch of hoopla. And it wasn't necessary in order to make money because I was always focused on always making money. And wrong answer. Because that is my employee mindset telling me to expect things in return for the work that I do. That is how employees think. Now, when you shift over to an entrepreneur, you have to think differently. You have to do more personal and mindset development to think wealthy. Because wealthy people don't think like that. They work without expectation. They don't rely on that employee decision making. You don't operate when somebody's breathing over your shoulder and you take action. That's the only time you move. But when you're a business owner, you're responsible for your own decisions. You have to take self-implemented action. So that means no one's telling you what to do. You have to be self-motivated. You have to have a great reason why you decided to become an entrepreneur to inspire Inspire you to keep moving daily, even when the cards are not in your favor. Things that you have to do. There's no one telling you what to do anymore. You're operating on your own time, your own clock, and it's your business. So you have to take that seriously. So invest in yourself. Get a mentor. Find somebody to who has what you want and learn from that individual so that you can attain their knowledge and then be at that level that you are looking to achieve. So if you want to go from zero to six figures, then you need to find somebody of a mentor who is already has done six figures and learn from them. If you want to go from six to seven, same principle. You need to find somebody who's doing seven figures and so forth. That's how we grew. See, we actually, in the beginning, we didn't have anything. We came from zero to making six figures, now making multiple six figures because we had to change our mindset first. And we had to hire more mentors than than necessary. People think you just need one mentor. You need as many subjects like you have in high school. The same thing you need with mentors. They have to mentor you in different areas in business. So there's my answer for that. And I want you to repeat that question. <laughs> you have a lot of information. <laughs> oh, okay. So for someone who is broke and struggling financially and looking to change their financial situation, like they're just tired of it. They're just tired of being broke. How does one make that mindset shift to create wealth and attract abundance? Well, I mean, Richard Branson always talks about creating capital. So you want to learn to create capital, right? One thing we learned over the weekend is really important is business owners and entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, they create capital. They learn how to create capital. So what I've been discovering in my journey, especially recently, is that I've been figuring out how to create capital from different resources to actually keep growing. Right, and use use that capital and those resources to keep the business even going to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. Right, so you know, being broke is is really a state of it's a state of mind. Right, you can change that way of thinking just action on that what you're asking for. If it doesn't really resonate with you. And your vision's about like, okay, well, you know, I kind of live in this sucky place and it's a crappy apartment and I want to move, let's say, to a different state, right? It has to be something that inspires you to really want to really change things in your life. You know, like Anastasia said, we went from zero, you know, to multiple six figures and, you know, we're hitting half a million pretty soon, right? Earning disclosure. (laughs) <laughs> um, they're not typical, okay? Earnings, they're not disc- typical. earnings disclosure results are not typical. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I, I can just tell you guys that when you actually decide on what you want and what you're looking for, then you won't think about being broke. You'll think about what you want as far as abundance, okay? Like, what is your financial thermostat? That's the first question you should be asking yourself. Like, what do you think you're worth, okay? 
What do you want to make? It can be, it can be simple. It can be little. It does, it's not. It's not really like you know making lesser of yourself by just choosing a number, right? But what is your financial thermostat when you get started? Is it you know five thousand a month? Is it ten thousand a month? Right? The majority of people pick ten thousand a month, right? That's always been the average number that everybody always chooses. Now, let's say you choose ten thousand a month. Okay, I'm broke right now. I'm sick and tired of making, you know, hundred dollars or a thousand or two thousand dollars a month in my job. How can I go to ten thousand dollars a month so I can actually have the vision that I'm trying to attract in my life? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. What you do is you make a decision and you say, in order for me to get there, I need to find someone who has earned ten thousand a month because your friends. Your family, your neighbors, your dentist, your doctor, right? They're not going to know. They're not going to know. Well, mm -hmm. your doctor will, but that's, you still <laughs> don't have any time and freedom because he's working freaking over hours, right? Right. But understand this. When you choose a number and you stick to it and you do everything in your power to take action, okay, and never stop, and get uncomfortable and position yourself to earn the highest commission possible with one sale. And then you can build more leverage upon that to get to your goal of 10000 a month. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. I agree. Man. All right. I yeah. love the answers that you guys gave, and <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree. But there might be someone who's watching that might be skeptical and think, well, that's great, Ace and Rich, but I'm not you. Um, I mean, yeah, it all sounds great. Yes, I want to create change in my life, but you know, I'm so scared. I'm so scared of, you know, that failure. I mean, what if things like go wrong? How does well, one overcome the fear of failure? Well, first of all, that person's right. You, you're not me. You're not us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you hit it spot on. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't be better than us. That's right. You see what I'm saying? It's all perspective. It's all perspective. What do you think is possible? It doesn't matter what we say. It matters what you think, right? So understand that people just have that lack of belief to think what is really possible. And so they look at somebody else that has success and say, well, I can't do that because you guys are ace and rich. No, we're ace and rich. We're human beings just like you, right? What's the difference? The difference is we started thinking differently in the way you're thinking. So how do you change your level of thinking? You change your level of thinking by looking at other successful people, yes. personal development, find out why your brain and your mind is doing what it's doing mm -hmm. on purpose by default because mm -hmm. it's going on and you don't even realize it until you just heard it from me right now, right? And you can find out why it does what it does. And then guess what? Then you become aware. And once you become aware, that's when you actually start to break wide open and you start to become aware of the matrix. All right. Ace, do you have anything to add? To that? I, I can't top that one. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a very good answer, Rich. Uh, one thing I love about Rich, guys, is that he dives so deep into personal development and from getting mentored by these guys, like I've learned so much from them. And it's really helped me to change my mindset. I'm still changing my mindset, but same here, guys. I mean, I'm still changing my mindset. Like these guys have taught me a lot, so I'm fortunate enough to have been to be coached and mentored by them. So, it's rich. Um, thank you guys so much for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Right, thank you so much for the brilliant answers. Sure. And guys, if you got a ton of value out of this video, if you're watching this from the Facebook Live, do me a huge favor. Give me those likes, give me those hearts, comment below. What was your biggest takeaway you got from today's video? <laughs> and feel free to also share this video because sharing is caring. Oh, and if you're watching this from YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos because guys, there's a lot more content to come. So I want you guys to do me a favor if you're watching from YouTube, there'll be a link right below this video in the description for my number one recommended program. And I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Go ahead and visit that link because I would think 
I think you guys will enjoy what the program has to offer. One and more thing. One more thing. Yes. What we'd like to do is thank you for you guys, you know, really supporting Marcus Still on his journey. You know, Marcus Still has come a long way, and we have come to learn so much about Mark in his journey, and he has shifted into an amazing digital entrepreneur. So if you are a fan or a follower of his work, be sure to connect with him. Mark is going places. He may be in Reno today, but he might be in Maui tomorrow. Actually, he's probably going to be in, I'm thinking, uh, Arizona, right? Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. yeah. Well, you know, we're traveling. We're, you know, meeting amazing speakers. And uh, just be sure to, you know, like you said, click on the link below. Yes. Right? That link's going to drive to your page. Put your email in there. You get the free information. Exactly how to start a journey just like he has. Like, you know, Anastasia said, Mark's going places. Yes. He's actually literally, you know, creating some sales. Yes. He's building his business. He's making it happen. The choice is, are you ready to make it happen? So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. Now we get all the latest videos that Mark is actually going to be doing. That's right. Connect with Mark. Yeah. And if you're watching this from the Facebook Live, be sure to comment a one below, and I'll hit you up on Messenger to hook you up with what program that I'm a part of. So, guys, with that said, I'm Mark Castillo, signing off with the fabulous power couple Ace and Rich. And I will see you all on the next video very soon. Take care, guys. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.